I have not read anything about you guys. Kasi I'm reserving it for tonight. Kasi sabi ko, okay. gusto ko fresh kong makukuha yung kilig sa inyong dalawa. All I know is, I think I saw it in a headline in, na kayo ng dalawa. And now, of course, it's the time. Of course, I, I don't need to confirm anymore na kayo ng dalawa. Tell me, was it love at first sight nung nakita ba kayo? <laughs> No, because no, because no, I just met him in person January. Hindi ko pa siya na meet before. Never pa kami nagkita in person. So when I see his pictures, hindi naman sa pangit. But you know, pana okay, okay lang. Hindi ko masaya dun. Uh, okay, guapo, but okay. <laughs> uh, And then when I saw him in person, my jaw dropped. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Be direct, I don't want to get caught up. Like I was so obvious. She was so transparent, and I was like, I walked into the restaurant, and Ellen was coming from the toilet, and then parang head down, and I was like, hi. <laughs> and then she just stopped, like, like and gave me this like parang sa tahol look. And looked at me from head to toe, and she's like, "Come on, come on." And I was like, "Oh." Hindi ko sa sabihin tapos para mo awkward ako sa head to toe sabihin ko na. Yeah, this is what's funny because isa si Derek sa mga artist ang kilala ko na pogi na he doesn't care kung pogi siya. Like, parang, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just a normal person. Actually, super. Like, I know a lot who are so conscious about how they look and it shows, but him, he's an obvious. I think he knows that he's really himself. <laughs> no, it's because this is what's given to me. Am I gonna complain? Just, just be comfortable with who you are. You gotta live life. Mm-hmm. 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 No, you're just really confident. That's it. <laughs> you know, Okay, um, the vibe that I'm getting right now is not just happy vibe, it's peaceful. Saan ka galing ito? I'm, I'm, I'm super at peace. But the thing is kasi, diba, you, we're both alphas. Hmm. Super alphas. Very strong personalities. But when we're together, it's, it's, it's calm. No, we, we... It's when we're not together, we're not... Yeah. <laughs> when we're not together, it's not perfect. I love that. I love that. <laughs> it, it's, it's different. If I have that killing stage, but this is... It's not a killing stage for me. It's like... It's like what I've been looking for. For, for like, the 44 years. <laughs> um... And I'm very comfortable. I'm I'm a very private guy, mm-hmm. but with <laughs> you know, oh yeah, you know, private, yeah, okay, yeah, private. I am, but yeah. with this one, it's like I can't help it. It's just it's there. It's it's. I, I feel I feel great, and with, with like what going back to the alphas when we're together, we we parang we're submissive to each other. Then it becomes calm. Mm-hmm. Um, we've in the short. Time we've known each other. I think because there's no, I don't know, we don't have to prove it to. Well, well, best foot forward. Tell me, I'm not the worst foot forward. Worst foot forward. Yeah, we we've we've experienced, you know, just the good times. We've experienced um, uh, conflict. And how it's dealt is just so different. No, because I think we both know that if you really try to push it, like I'm alpha and you're alpha, we know where we're going to go. Yeah, but my point is we don't we don't think about it. Yeah. We don't it. It just happens, and we deal with we deal the problem at hand like mature adults that are in love and. I, 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 I re- because our conversations really good too. Yeah, we that's so why we talk like forever. We talk before we sleep. While I'm sleeping, I'm still talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he talks in his sleep. And I then swear. when we wake up, 
Yeah, he, he does. When we wake up, we pick up where we left off. And that's that's just wonderful because, you know, looks, fade, all of that stuff is it's really conversation that is really important and but importante din yung looks oy eh. mahirap oh, na magkita na daw kung ano pero hindi pa usapin so no, umaga yung pa oh no oh no if you have the conversation if you have the conversation <laughs> ang hirap i-appreciate ang sarap ng usap namin pero saan ba po siya ang pinakamang ulan hindi ko pa okay <laughs> patayin mo yung light switch <laughs> Was it difficult to go public? No, it was like the funny thing is, diba? Kasi, an artista, pareho, it, and, and you know, I, I wanted to stay away from that already, but we we just didn't hide it. We never talked about it. Yeah, we actually never planned it. Probably. We never planned it, it just came out. It was, it was just like that. And, That's when you know something so real, because you're not you're not manufacturing it. It's just all it's just all so the best word is natural. It is it's just so natural. Yeah. I also don't want that in Atago. I don't have my relationships. But what's the point? Yeah, that's true. Right? But now So it's true. I would feel bad if if my boyfriend would tell me who is secret palang ano. Grabe, si Ellen Adarna, tapos isisikreto mo lang. Wow, sayang naman, diba? Ang pangit si Secret, diba? I just, I can be proud. Uh, diba? Relationship with both of you. Pero, uh, knowing, syempre, diba, I mean, I would like to be candid about it, but there's an X factor to the relationship. Did you, at some point, Were you careful? Uh, naging uh, had lang ba sa inyo yung X factor para maging you know to to just keep it slow or at least hide it for a while? No, but like like no 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 like we like I like said earlier no now it's it, it's like we got on this ship mm-hmm. the ship just sailed and it just <laughs> kept going and going and going and we were just we're just enjoying the ride it was like we, we we never brought up anything like that we never spoke about anything like that we spoke about how we felt for one another and we started talking about things that we were both scared of but we were so comfortable with talking about I noticed things in me and with her that I'd never do and she would never do it well and it was like honestly parang bumalik ako sa high school and I liked I really really like who I am when I'm around her um, and it reflects so much that my friends my family they all say hey the real Derek's back where's this guy been for the last decade Because I became a serious guy. Um, yeah, that's what I really thought about you, like boring and serious. Yeah, I became that guy, I, I, and I admit it. I was like, yeah, I felt it too. I don't, I don't, I don't boring. But, <laughs> but one night, that one night with her, it was like it brought me back 15 years ago, and yeah. And it's just getting stronger and stronger every day, and I, I really, really, really like what. I mean, matindi yung sinabi mo, ah. like parang uh, yung ibinalik mo yung totoong ikaw, which I guess you missed a lot, ano? Yeah, um, um I, I became overly serious, like. Akala niya mature na siya. Oi, mature na man ako, but. <laughs> You know, it, it was just like my friends would say, I, I was, I was, I became really, really boring. Um, I was no longer that spontaneous guy who I always believed that I always tell you, you gotta live life. Uh, but I was being safe. I was always being safe, being mechanical. 
and now I'm, I'm but Derek's back but just loves life filled with energy and, and motivated so he's super adventurous yeah yeah like, I mean, that's how I know but I'm going to Matthew we were like that number I can't imagine you being boring <laughs> <laughs> okay Uh, since si Ellen kasi like parang 10, 10 almost 10 years ago ko huling nakausap uh, I think for a while Ellen I don't know if I'm correct ano um, tumatandi ka sa mga showbiz interviews uh, not interviews but projects nagkaroon ka ba in any way ng tampo sa showbiz yeah I don't don't like this is them and i didn't see my i don't see myself doing it for a long mm-hmm. forever actually <laughs> yeah so huh? what is this but this is not making me happy anymore so why am i still doing this but i'm just torturing myself so i I didn't want to I'm kasi di ba ayoko magreklamo ng reklamo and then I'm not doing anything about it. Mm-hmm. So yeah that is why I mean it's not like she's insulting the industry yeah, it's we're it, all it was, it's not for me yeah. we're all we're all different and um I, I I really really understand the way she feels mm-hmm. kasi uh, I was very through that also um kasi nakakapagod naman talaga yung industry natin. Um, but like with anything, if you're in, if you're doing something that you're not happy with, then you really have to make a decision whether you push hard and, and, and get to do it or you go and chase the dream which will make you happy. And I guess that's the crossroad that she's at and that's the crossroad where I'm at. And we both were talking about it. We both... You know, we both uh, have same feelings about it in in, in some ways, and um, yeah, it's, it's something that we just have to deal with. She's doing a show now, but she's enjoying them on that show. Um, but she can't, she she doesn't want to be full blown now. Yeah, it's actually the telly series that I can like. No, it's a really tough industry because. The show must go on, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and when the when the industry developed this hand-to-mouth system, that's when it really got tough. Where mm-hmm. rather than your mga projects natin kinakain natin, so you can actually put time, 100% effort, and come out with quality projects. Um, finish it, finish the project, and then air it. But you can give you can give time. You can put more time and quality into these scenes rather than nagmamadali tayo kaya nga bilib na bilib ako sa Pilipino eh uh, yung mga Filipino actors imagine mo nagagawa natin yun but imagine if we would <clears throat> can these projects we'd come up with even better projects even better teleseries um, so it becomes really stressful it, it really does and, and if you notice when we start teleseries yung pilot episode is bonga tapos it kind of fades because pagod na yung mga tao tao lang naman tayo hindi lang yung artista ha I'm not just calling it lahat the entire crew mas pagod yung crew kesa sa artista you know and I think that's what needs to be changed kasi sayang eh like now everything is gay drama and kaya natin gumawa ng ganon she always gets annoyed with you how come you don't want to do drama because Yeah, it's a glamorous industry. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you get no, no? Why do you get? Why are you so against K drama? I'm not against K drama. It's more of I get annoyed. Because kaya natin yun. Yeah, that is kaya natin yun. That is true. And okay, I'll digress for a while. I know. I think both of you went through depression, sadness before you met each other. I mean, I think I find correct, Elena. I kind of read it somewhere that yeah. you were depressed when your father passed away. 
Sino ba namang hindi, diba? I'm the only girl. And at, 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 I lost an anchor. Our family lost an anchor. So, I, yeah, I was I was really lost. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Derek, during the pandemic, diba, you were, you had an anxiety, you had all those... Yeah, I, I, I've never, well, the only time I was away for that, that long from my family, Mm-hmm. was when I was in boarding school and when I was in boarding school I I, I even wrote a, a diary for the first time in my life mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just a family guy yeah my dad has it Derek, one day I'll read it diary? <laughs> am I hearing it right? yeah <laughs> mga, yung mga 200 days na lang and I will see my family mga ganon my dad, my dad teases me about it all the time, and he has it. Really he has it in his vault in the office. What do you mean? Did I send them letters? Yeah. <laughs> my God. Para mo na sa pagkain. Yeah, and 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 I I I I was really and with this whole COVID thing, I was so I was so sad because I couldn't see them. Thank God you can video call and all of that, but there was this one time. Uh, my dad, I didn't know he was coming down. I, I, I was getting anxiety and I needed medication and we couldn't go out. So they arranged to get medication for me. And my dad, being Pasaway, joined the driver and brought it down himself to me. And he was waiting for me at the gate of my village. I drove there and he was there and we can't approach each other because... We, we didn't know what this whole COVID thing was about, mm-hmm. and I, I don't want to give him anything or get sick. I say he's seventy-seven, and I just broke down. Like I couldn't approach him, I couldn't hug him, I couldn't touch him. Like he na abot na lang siyang driver sa and you know, and he was standing there, and I was standing there. It was just oh man, I, I remember that so clearly. So it was really, really tough for me, and mm-hmm. I, I told Ellen that. My God, you're really going to have to be there when that time comes. I don't want to think about it because everyone who knows me, I will be a mess. I, I will be a mess. But that's it's part of life. But I, I know I will be a mess. And I don't know for how long. And Ellen, Ellen, you know, she trusts me and she talks about it to me. And she, she, tells, she told me the whole process that she went through. Um... Like even her trip to Bali and all of that, and it's just amazing to see that she really fought through it, and she wanted to to fix herself. Um, uh, anything that you should admire, that it takes somebody very, very strong to, to go and do that. Yes. Especially with society now, no, it's a big problem, mental health, and a lot of people mm-hmm. end up just resorting to medication or ending their lives and Ellen chose another path and decided to go all the way to Bali by herself that that is respectable and, and that takes a lot of courage you know I go back to yung comment ko when we were starting the interview totoo yung nakukuha kong vibe na uh, peaceful kayong dalawa not together but peaceful individuals. You were, you're at peace now. Yeah. I yeah. think it's because you know, also we were both at peace with ourselves before we met each other. Mm-hmm. So like, um, we got together, like, it was just that good energy and it, it, it clicked. And that's the bar, you'll it's never, right. bottom, you'll never know what true success is if you don't hit rock bottom. And we both, gone through crazy stuff in life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We, we, I think Ellen hit rock bottom I hit rock bottom and to be able to bounce back from that that's why I guess you're, what you're saying yeah we're both very peaceful with our you know our, our lives right now and um, putting us both together it's just become even more peaceful <laughs> Better here. Right. Uh, okay, this is a tape interview, and um, I asked you, Kanina Derek, if I can, uh, you know, if there are any 
um, things that I should avoid, and you said, go long. So you can always okay. tap out. If I mention a name and you know you don't want to talk about the person, you can just say, you know, nothing about that. Okay. Yeah. okay. I, I want to ask Muna. I want to ask Muna, Ellen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ellen, how are you and Lloyd? Um, we're, uh, we're, we're, we talk. We talk uh, about Elias. Um, yeah, but you know, I don't know about his personal mm -hmm. affairs or mm -hmm. you know. It's just really when I talk to him, it's about our son. Mm -hmm. Which is more yeah. responsible, no? Like, parang I guess, um, because maganda yung energy na nakukuha niyo sa isa't isa to be, you know, to be good parents to Elias. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a good father and um you <laughs> That's all you can say. Okay. That's all. Derek. Can say. Okay, how are you in Andrea? Um uh, you know me. No, so I I I don't have any ill feelings towards any of my my exes um and it's sad that we haven't really spoken since the breakup um mm -hmm. but in all, in all honesty i i'm i have i have no no i have no regrets about whatever happened between andre and i mm -hmm. um and i've always remained quiet because me i, I respect her and her family and just like my other ex I, I respect all of them mm -hmm. um it's not right? that's, how, that's how it is you, you, yes you we, we got into a relationship um didn't work out unfortunately yeah. it didn't work out there was no third party nobody intentionally tried to hurt anyone mm -hmm. um there was just i guess differences between the both of us that we can't, we couldn't handle, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, um, if I definitely, if I see her in the hallways of GMA, I will, I will I'll go approach her and greet her and greet her mom because I know the mom will be there with her. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, we're, we're both two different individuals and I guess we handle, uh, we handle things differently. Uh, um, and I'm sure there will come a time where We'll, we'll be back to, 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 I guess, having some sort of relationship as friends. And, and I hope for that day. That is right. That is right. And that's all I'm asking about the excess. <laughs> Let's go back to you guys now. <laughs> okay. When you guys talk about the future, ano yung napag time to actually to ever talk about the future with him because before I think I've been very vocal about it na ayaw ko talaga magpakasal I want to kill it it's my baby I, I can't imagine myself getting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? wait and of course wait wait wait, wait Ellen huh? Ellen Ellen wait oh you're already talking about I'm shaking, okay? <laughs> You're already talking about marriage? Hold on, I'm just sorry. I mean, you don't want to say it! <laughs> so, yeah, we talked about it. I, I get, we don't have the comfortable thing to talk about the comfortable thing to talk about the comfortable thing to would definitely make us tense in the past. Um, like when I hear that word, when I walk away, na kuyo na, even kung ayo ko na. Di ba may reputation ako na ayo ko magpakasal, kaya ko yung lalaki na magpakasal, and I've always been vocal na no, I want to. I'm just not rushing it, kasi I want to find the right person. And you know, yung ano? That's why you get into relationships. Anyway, at least for me, ah, I get into a relationship. Yeah, you get into a relationship, I commit to someone, if I see that that person has the qualities for me to, to, like, to be my wife. And that's the problem with best foot forward, is sometimes, it's not, it's not a no, I'm not, I'm not disrespecting my exes, I'm also guilty of it. Mm -hmm. Um, 
But I was much younger then. And that's what they've realized that they got an older and that. Just be who you really are. And uh, again, I commit myself because I think that oh, she's capable. She or she's she's got the qualities of of um, of being a partner that I'll spend the rest of my life with. And then you get to learn things about each other. And it you know it's sad that sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah. But with Ellen. Talking about the future and talking about the M word seems so natural. Like I have no fear. I. <laughs> you are making me smile too much. <laughs> Even when I told her that I loved her. Whatever, I thought I'd never hear it because you know, like, yung ano pa lang, yung start pa lang, we had this conversation. Uh, he never, uh, not that never, but he rarely says, yeah. I love you. Right? I, I don't, I never said, I never yeah, said. No, it say rarely. Yeah. Like, it's not something you just say. Because it's it's the ultimate thing. The yeah, muscle. but yeah. with me, he says it all the time. <laughs> Even no, but you know, Nels na suka ako. Na suka siya, and his hands were so cold. And pumunta siya sa banyo, and I had to tell him to come out, like he was just um he, he, like. Yeah, I, I I don't know what came over me, and. and... That's when you know that like, this love is like this intangible thing, right? Mm-hmm. So there really is this chemical reaction in your body. It's true because when I said it, I experienced something that I've never experienced before, and it parang it doesn't relate, no? Because it's something that you, your body can't take. That's the, the body reacts. It's the hormones, you know, signaling you. But that's never happened to me before, and. Aho, I've, I've always guided my heart with my mind. And dito, parang yung puso ko sabi niya sa utak ko, bahala ka na. I've tried this with you so many times in past relationships. It's going nowhere. It's like my heart is saying, this is on me now. This is all me. <laughs> and yeah, it, nasuka ko talaga. Napunta ako sa banyo. I was having cold sweat. Yeah. No, but there was one time also na para tayo ng drugs para ha, but we were yeah. not on anything. Yeah. But like for like three hours, we're just like, oh, what is this feeling? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. And we were just quiet. We were just lying down, and we were like, oh my god, I'm I get, high. I get, I get that. High on love. It's the energy, you know. It's the energy it's the you energy. each other. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How many times in the year is up? I believe it now. Um, like, she'll talk to me, she'll mention something to me, and that's exactly what I was thinking in my head. I was like, wait, that's so scary. Not that after this is like, no, pa, I, I cannot make any mistakes, and so this girl can read me. She can read my energy. No, like, but I told you, I'm good at reading energy. I can feel people. Well, because you studied it. She studied it, and numerous times, na 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 nga sa amin yan. And, and I like it. I'm not scared that she can read me. Mm. I'm not scared. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you very much, Ellen, for trusting me. I know that you can read my energy, and I know <laughs> the trust that you're giving me now is intense. And for the first time, I'm telling you, I'm dami ko na na interview na Hollywood actors, but never ako nakik, never ako nanginig ngayon lang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I don't know up to what extent we can talk about it. I know you've been talking about the M word. Um, is it an engagement already, or do you want to be formally engaged? I don't know. I mean, I leave the answer to you guys. <laughs> For the first time, being speechless, Derek. 
I never, I never top out, but this one, top out muna tayo. <laughs> okay. But like I said, um, we don't hide anything from anyone. Uh, we, we, we don't, we don't plan, you know, how we're going to share this all with the public. It's just like, again, the word is natural. And we want it to be as natural as can be. Um, but I'd be lying to you, to myself, and to everyone if I didn't say that uh, she's the girl that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Wow. Oh. Oh, how do you feel, Ellen, hearing all that? Huh? How do you feel to someone that you know? I feel, I feel good about it. You know, I'm not scared because every time, I mean, before, when I'd hear something like that, and I've heard it. Um, I love that. Mm. Awful. Awesome. You, you know, no, not, not for me. May mga ganun ka ba? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> <In life. laughs> oh my god. I will just make that laughter speak for itself. That's, you know, that's the best thing also about this relationship is we just laugh all the time. We've, we've had episodes of laughing for over an hour straight over something so stupid. stupid, yeah. And we just laugh. Even if we're in public, we were in a restaurant. Oh my god, I thought, I think, feeling ko, akala nila high tayo. Kala nila naka-drug siguro. Kala nila naka-drug siguro. It's like yung hindi yung... Yung talaga maingay na tawa, yung, yung lahat ng doors, hindi na kaya, yung lumuluha ka na, yung abs mo, pumibigay na, just non-stop. And, you know, that's that's when you know. It's like, everything is just so good. <laughs> And natural, no? And natural. Yeah. That feels right. It feels so right. Yeah. Well, it feels so right. I have no further questions, Your Honor. Baka kung ano pa yung mga may tanong ko. Alam mo, ang ikinigibin namin palagi. Life is good. 